All right, here's the station he built up or his family's built up over the years. It's a Sinclair station. Sinclair was very huge in the gasoline market for, for a long time. I mean, I remember the name as a young boy. Uh, not as, as prevalent as some of the stations today, like BP's or Snoco's. Well, hey guys, good morning. Welcome back once again to Harley Day Rider. And this is uh, day number three. And as you can see here, we are at the Camp HDR out here in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, we came in last night. Uh, you've seen some of the videos prior to this, or maybe I put some pictures up or something. I don't remember. But, um, anyway, Mrs. HDR is still sleeping. Uh, it was a pretty relaxing night, uh, not too bad. We were able to get pretty much everything set up there. <laughs> this is what happens when you forget coffee cups. So yeah, we were able to get pretty much everything set up uh, before dark. Miss HR wanted some firewood, so we did go down and get some firewood. And uh, we definitely thought we were gonna have a fire, but that didn't transpire because it was getting so late that it was just like, it was just not, uh, not worth building a fire and just going to bed so we did find out if you buy an air mattress uh, definitely if you buy an air mattress um, read the directions before you leave your house we didn't realize it had to be charged up with a USB charger so at first we weren't able to pump up the air mattress so we got it about halfway pumped up it felt like sleeping on a waterbed but it, it wasn't bad. I mean, um, it's better than sleeping on the ground. Also, check your gear when you leave. Um, I have these sleeping bags that we bought for the motorcycle for moto camping. You know, they're thin and they're really small and they're rolled up tight. Well, I thought that I brought those with me, but when we opened them up last night, we found out that actually I brought the air mattresses. So things can just go wrong, man. I mean, just one thing after the other was going wrong and miss hr is like calm down it's fine you know we'll be good we'll, we'll make it through she had two blankets in the car so luckily she was a little bit more prepared than i was um but other than that you know she's got it together i got i have to basically get my uh, crap together too we haven't camped for so long we're kind of out of touch with it and, and that's sad because camping is really a, a, a nice it's just nice. I mean, you woke up and, okay, granted, there was way too many birds in this little uh, area here. Uh, not to mention we're right next to a trailway. Uh, I mean, a train track uh, with the very busy trains. St. Louis is known, uh, Springfield, St. Louis is known as the heart of the uh, trains, I guess. I don't know. And let me think what else happened. Uh, oh, the airport, the airport's like right over, like over on the other side of us there. And why do jets have to take off, you know, after midnight and before, you know, 6 a.m.? I don't know. But uh, other than that, it's from what we've seen so far, we've only been in our little corner of the campground here. It's, it's, it's nice. The, the bathhouse was okay, but the drain system is not great. Um, I took a shower this morning and there's water all over the floor you couldn't even dry your feet off it was pretty pretty crazy in there but um you know it it is it is you know be the rider pa always has a saying he says it is what it is you know and but uh but it was quiet here very quiet still very quiet i don't even know what time it is in the morning here but it's very very quiet and uh, we'll see how the rest of the day goes we have a day planned here to do things i like I said, I already got my coffee made, so I do have some coffee. You see the electric coffee maker behind me. We did bring a French press, but uh, I didn't use it. I am gonna cook bacon and eggs this morning. We're, we're gonna attempt that, and maybe I'll video some of that. So we'll see. Anyway, guys, that's about it for right now. I'm going to uh, sit here and enjoy a cup of coffee go back down to the uh, bathhouse which is 17 seconds from us and I said 17 seconds and the guy said yeah and he said if it, if if you walk slow it's uh right down around here look it's right down there right there and our tent is right here 
so you can see the bathhouse is pretty close so um, think of it as a I don't know community shower room in your dorm at college or when I was in the army we all showered and went, at least they have stalls here we didn't have that in the army so all right guys I'm not gonna make this any longer I'm about five minutes in here so I'm gonna cut this off and hopefully these videos come out okay we can use them so all right I'll talk to you later okay hi everyone hey it's uh the hdrs we're here in gay parita uh, missouri to check out this really cool uh, gas station okay folks this is an amazing stop again we're out here on route 66 i will show you that in just a minute we came across this gas station that I felt would be perfect for this travel documentary series here on YouTube of Route 66. Got some old cars here. Old gas pumps, old trucks. Look at this baby here, huh? Again, we're just riding down Route 66 and we ran into this place. Uh, the owner's name is, uh, his first name is George. I will show you, it's a uh, gay Parita, as Miss Sage Sarah told you. Uh, this is the inside here and he has a ton of stuff in here. Uh, I just wanted to show you briefly, but because I, I want you to come out here and experience this for yourself, but make sure you stop here. We'll go back around, I'll show you the station, but just a brief passing of what's in here. A little bit of everything. Uh, he said they've been collecting for around 20 years. Uh, it used to be his um, his mother-in-law's place or his uh, fiance's mother's place. And uh, all right, but uh, she passed away and he took it over. And I told him, man, thank you so much for preserving history. You know, this uh, history has is, is gone by and it's just stuff has gone away. I just talked to a guy here from New England. Uh, not too long ago he said man it's funny how this used to be the modern marvel uh, of trucks and i said they probably last a lot longer all right i'm gonna give you a quick shot of the station here too all right and here's the station he built up or his family's built up over the years it's a sinclair station sinclair was very huge in the gasoline market for for a long time i mean i remember the name as a young boy uh not as as prevalent as some of the stations today, like BPs or Snow Coast. Look at this gas price. Fifteen cents was the gas prices. This is the station here. If you look here, at these gas pumps, these old gas pumps, and you've probably seen these around before. George told me, gave me a lesson, said these markings up here for the gallons, you actually would pump down here, you pump the gas, it would go up there how many gallons you wanted, and then it was gravity fed through this hose to your car. So that's pretty awesome. It's always nice to stop and talk to the people of these shops that own these places. They have the history, they know. These were built in 1924. and 1926 in a place near us called Ross Traver, Pennsylvania and this is his shop over here make sure you stop in see George buy something from him I will definitely tag this place in this video also uh, to give him more publicity for sure okay we're gonna get down the road Okay guys, we just came into another state. Let's see how happy Mrs. HDR is. We're in Kansas. She, she kept singing this song about Kansas City, here I come. Kansas City, here I come. Oh, well, we're not going to Kansas City, right? Well, we're in Kansas. See, and you asked me why I break out a song. Look who I live with, watch. Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. There, put in the comments below, is that better singing than me? Wait. <laughs> oh, come on. <clears throat> Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. Okay, YouTube, we're out here on 
Route 66, as you just seen in Kansas. And I figured I'd walk up here and show you this. Uh, lose my phone here. The Rainbow Bridge here on old Route 66. There you go. The Rainbow Curve Bridge constructed in 1923 over Brush Creek. There you go, Colin. Creek, not Crick. Creek. The only remaining bridge. Look at this thing. Uh, it's like it's a concrete, must be a concrete poured bridge, I guess. Oh, there's no traffic out here, so we figured we just stop. Miss H. Doris back there taking pictures. And uh, yeah, look how thick it is. I don't know if you can tell, but it's solid, man. It's a little curved bridge here. Pretty cool, definitely. Definitely pretty cool here. If you had to bike, it'd be a nice place to take pictures. And there's the creek down below. And there's the Crop 66 sign. Let me see if I can zoom on that. Yep, I did. Here comes a car. Oh, it's going the other way. Good. Take a quick look here to the other side here. There we go. That must be the new bridge that replaced it, I guess. What's the new roadway? All right. Well, I just wanted to stop and give you a quick look here at the bridge. Pretty cool, very historic on the old road here. And uh, this road is really old. Like we turned down this road and I said, you sure that's the right road? And she said, absolutely, I'm sure it's the right road. So all right, again, the rainbow curved bridge. All right, moving on. Okay, guys, I figured I better get some video of this, too, before we're not longer, no longer in this state. What state are we in now? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. So that is as far as we're going on Route 66. Because uh, the next day would be... Texas. Texas. And that's pretty far away. Well, right, because we'd have to go all the way across to Oklahoma. Yeah, we'd have to go all the way across to Oklahoma. Kansas was... The part that we went across was small, just a little tip of Kansas, so that wasn't bad, but Oklahoma, it's a pretty big state. With that said, I will say uh, so long, and uh, until tomorrow's video, we'll be signing off here. There's Miss Sejar, you can wave by. Good night. All right, good night, everybody. Remember, as always, ride your own ride, be safe. Harley Day Rider, Miss HR, be down and out in a beautiful Springfield, Missouri. I had to think where I was there for a minute. We'll see you. Thanks for following the camping videos. Also, check us out on Instagram at Harley Day Rider and also Mare Bear, M A R E B E A R. All right, we'll see you. Take care.